ever been in that situation where you're driving along, your street navigator suddenly says no satellites, or your little handheld turns around and says no satellites. So you decide, well, the only way I'm going to get around there is buying an external antenna. Now, that's fine. However, if you find yourself selling or uh, upgrading to a new GPS, you may find that, as in the case of the Garmin 60CX, it may have what they call an MCX connector, as can be seen here. You may find that your next model may be something like this, an MMCX or even a BNC connector. So the problem is, is that you may turn around and spend 40 or 40 plus dollars on an external antenna and find that you can't use it on another GPS. Or in some circumstances, some people like to have two GPSs and only one external antenna. Or that the fact that they may have a different uh, GPS with a different connector. There's a way around that. And it is called a re-radiating antenna, such as the San Jose Navigation uh, RA50. Now what you'll be able to see is an, on the back of the box here is the actual method by which it um, re-radiates the signal from the satellites into the cabin of the vehicle or if you like into a boat. As you can see on the, on the top of the um, uh, diagram there you've got the external antenna on the roof with a cable running down and into the cabin of the vehicle and there you'll see what looks like a um, cigarette lighter plug. This is the actual unit here. There's your external antenna and there is your um, plug with the re-radiating antenna inside. The advantage of that is, is that basically you could have a dozen GPS's in your car or in your boat or using this device uh, when you are having trouble with uh, signals. So what would be the benefit? Well the benefit is that you only have to buy one once and that's it. Uh, as opposed to say between $40 and $60 for a, a standard external antenna, you can use this fella here for $75. Now another advantage is, is that there are some models out there, for example the Garmin E-Trex, the base models that are out there, um, don't have facility like the GPS 60CX to have a little external antenna connector. Because they don't have it, theoretically, you cannot use one of these. However, you can use one of these. So in the future, if you turn around and decide that you're going to buy a GPS but you want an external antenna, buy this fella instead. It'll save you a lot of dollars and a lot of heartache. If you want to buy one, you can go to two sites, octopc.com.au, or you can go to gpsaustralia.net, and you'll find it on there. Thank you.